Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Tuesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to connect with the Masculine Madness deck. This is a gorgeous deck by Bridget Rowe. We're going to use this deck to connect with your energy theirs and the journey because... This deck connects with all the things we go through in the mind, the ego, the fear, the struggle, but also the longing and the desires and the needs and the wants. So we're going to connect with this deck. We're also going to bring in for the guidance, the twin flame guidance, love oracle. And I'm also going to bring in the beautiful light seer's tarot. So let's see what we need to know. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's going on with your mind today? What are you maybe struggling with today? One card. What's the energy around them today? Wow. Wow. A few cards coming out. Look at that eye. That means they're watching as well. They're watching you. You know they are. And a card on the floor. And what's the energy around the journey? What's the struggle with the journey? Jumped on the camera. That one jumped on the camera. And that one jumped out of the camera there. And what's the guidance for you today? What's the guidance for you today? What's the guidance for you today? We've got one card. What's the guidance for them today? Jumped over the camera there. And what's the guidance for the journey? Jumped out there and, yeah, gone back in. So just that one card. Now, what's going on in the situation with the tarot? So what's the energy around you today? What's the energy around you? We've got one card. What's the energy coming in around them? A clear card, please, angels. The card tried to come out, then he went back in. So again, that's a huge sign that sometimes they try and come forward, but then they take that step back. Or they want to come out into the open, but they go back within themselves. So it's about giving them time. And the energy around the journey today, we've got two cards. Okay. So let's see what's happening then on this powerful day. So the first message we've got coming through for you is, I finally see. Wow. I finally see. This is huge for you. This means you're finally understanding your own truth. You finally see the truth about what's going on within yourself. You've been doing your own shadow work. You're coming out the other side. You may have been meditating. You may have gone through something that's really helped you to find that light. Maybe you've had an epiphany or a realization. This can also be releasing certain people from your life. And it's like if you've had the wool pulled over your eyes, you can now see clearly again. I finally see, I finally recognize my truth, I finally understand, it finally makes sense. This is you stepping into your power and it hasn't been easy at all for you to get there. You've been in the darkness, you've been through the shadows, you've been in the pain, but you're coming out the other side. So this is a huge sign of you taking that huge sigh of relief that you've come out the other side. Now, I feel this is definitely a huge realization and a huge shift that's been taking place as we've moved into August. The Lion's Gate energy, helping us to breathe again, to see again. And what I'm seeing with this like white light here as well is also angels around you. Angels guiding you, your guide, your spirit guide, your angels, the universe, whomever you are connecting with, you're being guided from the higher realms. You may see that as a loved one from heaven that's talking to you. But I'm seeing there as your guardian angel around you, being there for you and helping you when you've been in the shadows, when you've been going through your own fears and your darkness, and you finally see, wow, everything is making sense. It finally makes sense, realization, clarity. I also feel there's going to be a reunion, a communication coming in, especially for those of you who haven't had it for a long time. You're finally starting to see results. You're finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're finally starting to see that this could work, that this is real. You're finally starting to believe. You're finally starting to understand there's a huge sign of change here. Now, the guidance for you is thoughts become things. So this is reminding you everything that you're starting to see now is because of your thoughts. They are now starting to become things. So I'm also seeing this as things you've been manifesting, wanting or working on for a while. Things that have been on your vision board, things you've been asking the universe for, things you've been speaking into reality you're now finally starting to see the results. You've been doing the shadow work, it's been working for you, and now thoughts are becoming things. So you've been reminded here to focus your mind. And if you're still needing to 
calm your energy down. If you're still dealing with any fear or you're still worrying about things, go within today. Have this time for you to meditate and do shadow work because when you focus your mind and you have a vision of what you desire, you're going to create that in your reality. You're going to speak it forth into reality. You have power. So you're finally seeing now that you have power. And that's also assisting you to make the right decisions, to focus your energy. I feel vision improving here as well. Feeling clearer, crystal clear. Feel your mind is becoming less confused. You're starting to understand things more. If you've been going through any kind of um, brain fog or disorientation or nausea or dizziness, that's clear. It may also be a great day for you to look at your vision board because not only can you update it when you do that and think, okay, I've manifested that or I want to change that, but you'll see your thoughts becoming things. You maybe haven't looked at your vision board for a while and you look at it today and think, oh my goodness me, I'm starting to see that thing appear in my life. I'm starting to understand it's manifesting and your crown chakra will tingle. Your third eye will open, you'll just know. Wow, they're actually showing me outside. Um, you know those um, what like um, things that come off a dandelion? You know, that and the, we call them, we say, make a wish glow on the dandelion. Two of them have just flown by the window, but two together. So that's another sign of union coming together. Two becoming one in, in the soul and in, in the heart and the body. Coming together. And also understanding why the pain has to occur. This is you overcoming your heartbreak. This is you having a good scream. If you need to, scream it out. When we go through resentment, blame, shame, taking things personally, we have to get it out of our body somehow. Otherwise, it will wrap you around in change. So scream it out of you today and understand everything's happening for a reason. You are finally starting to see why you've had to go through the pain. You're finally starting to understand why the separation occurred. You're finally starting to understand that everything happens to you for you. So it's never really happening to you. It's happening for you to grow you. Life is hard so it can get better. Life is hard so we can get more strong. So you're finally starting to see through your shadow work, through doing what you've needed to do, why you're in separation or why you've been through the pain. And now you're understanding that you're coming out the other side of that. You have power and your thoughts become things. A huge message for you today. Now, the energy around them today, I am worried about my legacy status. So this is definitely things that they are worried about in their life status so this could be things that they are maybe sharing or not sharing on social media this could be their job their career their goals their dreams their projects the status where they are in society so they're worried about this they could be have, have children they could be worried about leaving their children they could be worried about leaving that karmic partner they could be worried about changing something in their life i'm connecting with this as changes and what i'm seeing with this high five here i'm definitely feeling Two things, first of all. The first thing is their ego and their higher self integrating. So they may be worried about things in their life, but they are willing to change it. They are stepping up to move towards the light and the light is you. That's the light at the end of the tunnel there. But I'm also seeing this as if there's anyone watching you in a same-sex connection, especially same-sex guys, this is a huge sign about coming out into the open, especially if they are in a situation that they're worried about. And if they were already in a relationship, and again, it can be a same-sex relationship they are in now, or they maybe they haven't come out yet, but they are perhaps worried about what people will think, about their status in the world or on social media, and but they are now moving beyond that. So I feel they are preparing to make changes on their social media again. So if they've already made changes, there's more things coming out. It's like things are coming out and they may be worried how it's going to go down, how it's going to be perceived by others. And remember, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, we have to share our truth. They may have been isolating themselves for this reason as well, thinking, processing. Remember, you've been mirroring this because you've been doing your shadow work. They've been doing theirs. I'm so lonely. So again, they they feel lonely in their life. He says, I'm so lonely, but I just want to be left alone. I'm isolated. So they are isolating themselves. They want to be left alone. And this can also mean they are 
um, projecting out of them into the world what's going on inside them so they may be defensive they may be lashing out they may be pushing people away they may just not want to talk to people they may be ignoring people ghosting maybe that's you or other people they show me someone who's at work and they're just not listening to anyone they're just getting on with things as well maybe going for a walk maybe they're spending time with friends but they're not really opening up to them about anything and they're feeling lonely now there's a difference between being alone and lonely we can be alone and never be lonely because we know we are surrounded by angels we know that we are connected with everything everything that was is and ever will be but we can feel lonely even if we're surrounded by a thousand people. We can feel lonely because we feel misunderstood. We can feel lonely because we're missing our person. We can feel lonely for many reasons, but loneliness is a choice. We can choose to do something about it by feeling that we are empowered by connecting with others, by going for a walk and, you know, interacting with people on outside, just even saying hi to someone in the street, you know. So I feel what they are doing is choosing right now to feel lonely because they're, they're isolating themselves in that way. And really their higher self is guiding them to move forward. They may even feel lonely because they are hiding themselves away. You know, they want to make changes in their life for their legacy and for their future, but there's fear there. And that's why they're watching you. They're watching you in the isolation. They're watching you because you're this intuitive being. They're watching you because they feel you. And they're saying, your eyes see into the depths of my soul. So they know as well that when you're looking into their eyes, and this is why sometimes, we spoke about this the other day, they may be wearing eye masks. In other words, they may have sunglasses on or eyewear, or they may be pulling silly faces on social media or even on you know, Snapchat filters or because they're trying to put on a front and be it's their defensive way of hiding their vulnerability. But your eyes see beyond those things. Your eyes see into their depths of the soul and they see into you too. So I feel this is definitely them watching you because they've intuitively been guided to, they've been feeling that connection with you. But you know, when you look into their heart and soul, you see beyond the filter or you see beyond the, the smile on the face or whatever they're going through. You know they feel very isolated and lonely. And you know they need to step out of what they're doing to be free. So it's also about freedom. And they are connecting with you in a higher way. You know, I've got the three of pentacles coming through here. When there's a red light in your life, when things don't seem to be going forward, they are overcoming their challenges there. And they do see a future. And I am getting this as well connected with someone who's worried about their children i've got that coming through very strongly today they've got kids now this could be two girls doesn't matter again how old they are because our children are our children no matter how young or old they are but i definitely feel this is someone who's trying to heal their own fears around their children you know walking away from a situation because they're worried about what will happen to their children or not having their children in their life so that's definitely caused them problems in the past and maybe they're overcoming that right now because they've been watching them grow up and seeing them become beautiful ladies. Or even guys, if this is connected with sons as well, but they're showing me in the card like watching their family grow and that's put things on hold for that. And now they are stepping out of that comfort zone. You know, they're stepping out of that because they know they've got to think of themselves too. But I'm definitely connecting with this as higher realms and connecting with you on the 5D and dreaming about you and wondering what you're doing, connecting with you in that way. Look at this, like you feel like home. I will choose you because you're my comfort, you're my home. Now, it's never about them choosing you. They always need to choose themselves because when they do that, they'll always choose you. You are one, how can they not? But, you know, it feels like they have chosen in the past to be where they're comfortable, especially if you've got kids or... If it would cause them a problem or cause problems in their life to leave where they are. And that's been blocking them for a long time. So again, I'm connecting with things like long marriages because they've got kids or other things going on. Change that they need to make. And they've stayed in a comfort zone, but now they're going to choose you because that's choosing themselves. So I will choose because you're my home. You feel like home to me. And I feel this This is definitely a reunion energy I'm connecting with, coming together. But I'm getting in the energy of coming together for people who've been in separation for long amounts of time. 
It may take a bit longer if your separation is newer or, you know, if you're still learning your lessons. Obviously, we're all still learning lessons, but I'm really getting the sense of them coming back to you if they've been dealing with things that they've really put on hold in the life for a long time. So I'm really connecting here with um, same-sex twin flames, especially male same-sex twin flames. And I'm connecting with um, people who are married with kids and there may be girls there, like, like daughters. So I'm not saying there isn't boys as well, but I'm definitely getting daughters here as important to them. And they've put their life on hold because of those daughters. And it can be sons as well, especially if um, there's feminine energy there. You know, if perhaps they've got, um, you know, a, a very feminine um, um, son. You know, if someone is very feminine in the ways, and that can also be feminine energy within. But I feel that what I'm really connected with here is they've put their life on hold for something or someone and they've been denying their own happiness when they know that you feel like hope and they want to choose you now by choosing themselves. They want to put you first. They want to lie there snuggling you and cuddling you and loving you. And they are planning and processing to make the right decision, to break that silence, to find a solution to their situation. So there's going to be many, many breakthroughs coming in. And if you're seeing penguins, that's the reason why. Now, don't worry if you're thinking, well, we haven't been in separation for a long time or my person isn't married or, or any of those things. This reading will still resonate with you because they are still planning and processing. You know, they are still isolated and lonely and missing you and watching you and connecting with you no matter what. They are worried about their legacy and what's next and thinking about this. So they're starting to think about their future very powerfully. And they may also be coming to you in the 5D to say, this is why I'm not with you yet. I'm just dealing with this. This is why there's traffic lights in our connection because I'm seeing this like traffic lights. You know, you could see that like um, chakras. Maybe you're thinking, oh, the chakra needs to be healed. The chakra system, especially the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the, the solar plexus. You know, the heart maybe as well. I've got the green t-shirt there connected with healing so you may just grab it on this card, you know, remember your intuition will pick up things and you might think, oh, I know that I need to cleanse this chakra or I need to bring a healing in. And maybe you're seeing that as creative energy, you know, drawing, painting, arts and crafts, you know, some form of creativity. But what I'm really seeing is um, a traffic light system. So I'm seeing that as things are moving now from the red light that where there's been a pause, a delay, not moving forward to an amber light. So I'm seeing this amber light where they're about to take action towards the green light. They're getting the green light. The green light is saying, yes, you can move forward. It's safe. The amber light is either, it goes when we're about to stop or it goes when we're about to start. So I feel you're being reminded that if you feel like you want to reach out, just hold back your energy a little bit, breathe, because they are the one now who's going to make the change because they want to feel like home and they feel like that with you. Now, there's a higher power connecting with you both. You know this. This is God, the universe, the creator, whoever you connect with. There is a higher power guiding your love. And that higher power is helping you both to see. Remember, this higher power is helping you to do your shadow work, to finally see the truth, to realize, ah, that's why it's caused me pain. That's why it hurt me. That's why there was a separation. That's why there was this red light all the time this is why so you're finally seeing the truth and the higher power is guiding you and I feel this is also the both of you being reminded to pray because when you pray you receive so when you pray and you're asking for assistance and you are allowing the divine in to help you and they are really saying I pray I pray you'll forgive me for the things that have happened but I feel you're praying that too because you want you both want a fresh start you both want a clean slate and this may also be for things that they may need to do to be in your arms again. I pray you'll forgive me, God, because I need to get divorced. I pray you'll forgive me because I've got to move away from my children. I pray that my children will forgive me. I pray that people will understand because of my status or standing in society. I pray that people will forgive me. And it doesn't matter what people 
think or don't think. It's so important that we forgive ourselves and we get it right with God. It's so important that God forgives us for things we feel we've done. And this is really them. They give me fear. They're in a lot of fear because they know they've hurt you and they've hurt themselves in the process. So I pray that you will forgive me because I'm ready to open my heart. I'm ready for intimacy. I'm ready. And if you've been seen 888, and I know so many of you have, and obviously we've just had the 88 portal. Well, this is a huge sign of being ready, finally seeing the truth, finally getting ready for each other, finally moving towards each other, finally breaking those silences, finally opening up, finally being intimate. So I also feel this is going to be lots of intimacy coming in. So this could be intimacy online with each other. It could be in the 5D if you're not communicating yet. But I am getting real energy of intimacy. So making love, kissing each other, holding each other again, coming back together, a reunion. I'm ready to open my heart. I'm ready. Things are shifting. I pray you'll forgive me, God, because I want to be intimate with this person. I want to open my heart. I pray you'll forgive me. So this is about healing. And remember, you are a true inspiration. You inspire them. The work you've been doing on you. And you should feel inspired because they've been doing the work on them. You are both light workers. You're both here to work your light and shine it bright. To be independent, successful, brilliant, inspiring. You are the lighthouse. So remember your value and power like the cat. The cat knows it has value. It does its own thing, really. So you've got to have faith in doing your own thing. I feel this is definitely what they want to do. They've seen their children grow up and they now know they need to do what's right for themselves. Or they've seen something fail in their life. Maybe they're thinking about the past year, reminiscing, thinking about their own childhood, thinking about perhaps the relationship that their parents were in, thinking, I want to break that now. I want to break that cycle. It's time to be together. It's time to start again. And we've got the wheel for that reason. So I'm seeing this as the world's energy, even though it's the wheel. So the wheel is about things turn in your favor, divine intervention, fate, destiny. Balance is definitely happening here as well to move forward. But I'm seeing this as navigation with the compass. So it's definitely about being guided in the right direction. and But things come into full cycle with the world's energy completion. I'm seeing these like um, chips in the casino, taking a risk, going for what you want, not being afraid anymore, you know, getting ready to fly. So I'm seeing this also as flying energy as in an eagle. So if you see eagle soaring, it's a huge sign of your person coming back to you. But um, they're showing me dice, rolling the dice. I'm seeing dice on the t-shirt. I don't even know what is isn't that on the t-shirt, but it could be dice. But I'm seeing dice, I'm seeing gambling. This could also be a huge sign about... Um, if anyone has got a gambling issue, I feel that's going to be balanced out. So that's very likely going to heal, especially between now and February, March time. If there's a gambling issue, if there's anything that is addictive that needs to be healed, that's going to be healed moving into 2025 with the power of the wood snake. But definitely take a risk as needed. Divine intervention, being guided, being shown the way through the higher power. And that's exactly what they are doing today because they are thinking about moving to the next step. Look at the ladders. The ladders are about ascension. We've got the snake here as well, reminding you about releasing the past. The snake is also connected with the energies we move into 2025 with the wood snake coming in. Decisions, decisions. This is your person making the right decision at last. Making the decision where the water flows. All these other bowls here you could see these as bowls or you could see that i'm seeing that like a house there but say if these are all bowls for example and the only one that's allowing the water in is this one you know there's flow there that's where the life force is there's water there there's you know this ladder to rise up so i'm seeing this as the connection with you flowing in now and everything else they know it's not working they're actually showing me this here like a bat wing um, which is also about the shadow work they've been doing on themselves through ascension. This is why you may have gone through ascension symptoms lately, maybe feeling dizziness, heavy energy, heartburn, um, you know, heart palpitations, pain in the heart, again, heaviness around the heart because there's been so much heart healing activation happening, maybe even pains in the veins. You know, they could be, I've, I've had um, 
circulation issues that can also affect the, the body, heat in the body, cold flashes, hot flashes, all of that. But what I'm really connecting with here is they now want to flow to you. So what I'm seeing is between July just gone and we're in August now. Between July, they've wanted things to flow better in their life. They've been thinking about you. That's why he's got his finger in the mouth. He's working out what to do. He's, he's preparing to make the right decision here to step up. And this wood snake is showing the way. So between now and February, there's going to be huge, you know, over the next seven months. And if we think, right, we're in August now, if we say September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So really like between now and March energy, but I am connecting with February, which is this wood snake. There's going to be lots of reconciliation, coming back together, making the right decisions and healing the past because you're recognizing more and more why things have happened the way they are. You've finally seen the truth and that's bringing you both out of isolation, both out of isolation to be together. And don't worry about the masks they wear. They wear masks in many ways. You know, what they show me in this is maybe wearing oversized clothes. They've got um, baseball caps on here as well. You know, things that hide who they really are. They're coming out into the open. There's big things happening here. Why? Because thoughts become things. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.